Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'll be unboxing, reviewing, and time-lapsing this. This is the LetPot Smart Wi-Fi enabled tabletop hydroponic system. Okay, so the folks out at LetPot have sent me this hydroponic system kit, a tabletop hydroponic system kit. What I'm looking for in a tabletop hydroponic system kit, I want the nutrients to be included, a clear instruction manual. I would prefer those instructions not to be our nutrients are magic, buy from our store and the Grow Media. I don't really wanna to have to go and buy anything other than this kit. Let's have a look in the box and see what they've sent me. <laughs> yeah, okay. They've got a really simple set of instructions. It's also got a complete analysis. So part A and part B. And here is the device itself. It's actually pretty nice. Stainless steel on the outside. That's pretty cool. It's actually a pretty solid unit. Straight up, I can see a few really nice features. That's a water level. We've got the nutrient part A and B. The net cups we'll be using, and these would be caps so that you have a humid dome to start your seeds in. You've got the grow media. It looks like it's actually Oasis cube material. The power adapter, Australian. Nice, and internally we have a pump. The pump has a little device that I'd say will spread the water and cause it to bubble. The pump plugs into, there's a power supply within the unit and that just plugs straight into there and your power plugs into the back. Now this is actually a water level indicator which fits over the top, it gives us an indication of the water level, which is fantastic, I really like that and we've got a place for you to add in water as well. Now the top one looks like it maxes out at five liters. So I've got five liters of water here and we can use this water to mix up our nutrient. It wants us to fill both of the bottles with water and I'm gonna shake that up and they come with this little measuring device cap which fits over the top. So the instructions are five mils of each with a liter of water, giving you the ratio per liter of water. For five liters of water, 25 mils of A and 25 mils of B. Just make sure it's completely mixed in. Now I'm just gonna give this a quick test just to find out what we're working with here. So there's no pH adjuster and the pH is 5.1, which will work. I'd like it at 5.5, but that's fine. Miller Siemens, 0.95. So that's perfect for leafy greens, which is what we're growing today, which is good. For a non-pH tested kit, this has done pretty well, and I think we'll have some decent results from it. So it wants us to add in the nutrient now, fill it up like this, and drop this in, and we should see, as I drop it down, that water level indicator rise. That's cool. I really like that. I don't know, like... <laughs> I hope the rest of the system works because this is pretty cool. We'll take our little net pots, which just fit in the top, and we're going to place our Oasis cube-like grow media, and they'll sit in the net pots like so. Now, you could obviously use other grow media. You could probably fill these with cotton wool if you wanted. We'll put our spring onion in the front because it's gonna take up the least space, and it'll let me see through to the other plants pop a few seeds into each of the holes and I just drop that straight into the water. You can see that's floating and that will just soak up the water and we can just place our humidity dome over the top. I really like this. You don't need a big humidity dome, but this just keeps it humid enough for the seed to germinate. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant out the rest. In the middle, I'm gonna have this red oak leaf lettuce. And for the last one, this is called Joy Choi. Really cool seeds right there. So we have spring onion in the front, red oak leaf lettuce in the middle, and Joy Choi at the back. So this is how I'm going to have the device set up. I've got a fan over here to provide airflow. I would recommend having a fan going across any indoor grow because it is extremely important for the plants to be able to transpire. It could be on a windowsill, so it could be fine. I've got power underneath this table, so I'm gonna plug in 
the Lapot and we'll discuss the functions. Because it's actually Wi-Fi enabled, which I didn't know until just now. There's also functions on the top if you don't want to connect it to your Wi-Fi. So I'll just show you. On the top here we have a power, a veg, flower and a pump slash Wi-Fi button. There are three control functions. Veg, which is a red, blue, white spectrum. It's an automatic cycle of 16, eight. So 16 hours the light is on and eight hours the light is off. Flower, which is just the red and white spectrum, which is the same 16, eight cycle. So let's turn it on and test the PAR. So this is a PAR meter. This is a photosynthetically active radiation meter. Um, and this is going to give me an idea of how much photosynthetically active light is being emitted. And I can give you a rough review on how good that light is. The PAR at full height on veg is 62 and the PAR at full height on flower is 58. Um, and I'm gonna push it down to about four inches, 213 and a PAR of 195 at four inches on flower. It actually has a guide in here how far you should have it above different plants. It's saying about four inches across the board for all different plant types is about right. So about here is where we wanna have our light for our seedlings, four to six inches. And the reason for the extension is as the plants grow, we will raise the light with the plants. Here I have the app. You can set your LED schedule to whatever you like, which is really cool. It lets you control the entire hydroponic system from your phone. We can turn on the pump and that's just circulating so that we have a nice oxygen rich nutrient solution and we can turn on and off the whole light as well. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to set up the time-lapse camera and we can time-lapse the grow. Thought I'd give you a quick update. All of our domes are ready to come off our Lapot. Some of the seedlings are pushing their little domes off the top. So I'm actually going to lift up the top and we can just remove these domes because they've done their job rather nicely. And look at that. That is a 100% success rate on all of our plugs. Put that light back down and we can continue our time lapse. And will you have a look at that result? There's not much to say here. The system works flawlessly. The nutrients worked absolutely fine. As you can see, we've got healthy green leaves, no signs of nutrient deficiencies. The only abnormalities on the plants, if I lift this, we can see on these two leaves here, where I've let the leaves touch the light too long, it's just a little bit of burn. And that is user error. Other than that, we have some really nice growth. The light is perfectly adequate. This was in veg the whole time. Probably would just leave it in veg with the mixture of blue, white, and red LEDs. I'll show you what I mean. When I turn flower on, you'll notice that the blue LEDs turn off and we're left with white and red. Now that actually lowers the par. 
only slightly, but I can't see any detriment at all to just leaving this in veg the whole time because personally, I think this is a mostly vegetative system. The majority of people using this will be using it in a vegetative capacity. Okay, so let's lift up the system and see what we've got when it comes to the roots. So you can see here that the majority of our roots have come from our choy at the back and our lettuce in the middle. Our little spring onions have not really thrown off many roots at all, but these guys will get bigger as the system matures. Either that or they'll get crowded out. <laughs> and I'll just give you a look in the reservoir. There's not much to it. It stayed relatively clean and the pump has a filter around it so it keeps out the roots. So it's not very often that I struggle to find things to nitpick, but this went off without a hitch. The only caveat to this system is its size. However, that's kind of the point of the system. It's meant to fit on a tabletop. It's meant to fit in small spaces. And I think that this system has the ability to liberate a lot of small spaces into productive areas. This not only makes an unused space productive, it also makes it quite aesthetically pleasing. It's a really well thought out little system. I love the fill indicator that lets you know when filling is required. I like that you can control it without the smart functionality, but I also like the option to set the night day cycle as you please, because this may be within spaces that are used in ways that require the light to be on and off at certain times of the day. And there you have it. That is the unboxing and review of the Let Pot smart Wi-Fi tabletop hydroponic system. Links in the description to where you can purchase. Happy hydroponicking and I'll see you next time on Who Chose.